To speak more about Papi Komane's playing days at Orlando Pirates and Jomo Cosmos, we are joined in studio uh, via Zoom, I should say, by SABC sports reporter Sviso Ramara. Uh, Sviso, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so, let me, yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Just quickly, for those who perhaps don't know, just give us a brief overview of who Komane was. Yeah, good evening to you, Kate, and uh, good evening to the viewers. I think uh, uh, I should state the fact that, you know, they sometimes say looks are very deceiving. Papi was a very uh, uh, good-looking, you know, uh, uh, player, <laughs> but uh, had, you know, as, as, as a tick. I mean, uh, having joined, you know, uh, you know, started his professional career at uh, Jomo Cosmos, we know Back in the days, Jomo Cosmos, um, you know, they used to be very robust and hard in terms of, uh, you know, uh, playing. Uh, that's where uh, Papi, you know, uh, started his uh, professional career. He played, uh, I think he joined at the age of 19, played for four years before he went uh, to Orlando Pirates. We all know the relationship that Pirates had, you know, with 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 uh, Jomo Cosmos back then. Every good and promising player that uh, you saw at Pirates, the, the likelihood was that he was gonna uh, join uh, Orlando Pirates, and that's what happened uh, with uh, Papi Khomani. I mean, having played uh, 151 games for Orlando Pirates, that's that's mm. not a an, an easy thing. It proves that you know. He had what it took to play uh, at the highest level. And uh, he's not just an ordinary uh, player. We know that he also captained Orlando Pirates, having captained Tomo Cosmos before uh, joining Pirates. And if we go down memory lane, we all know that he is the son to mm. another former, uh, you know, Pirates uh, legend, uh, Johannes Ester Khomani. Johannes Ester Khomani also captained Pirates. So... It's a very uh, rare feat of, you know, a father and a son playing for a big uh, team in South Africa. And not only that, but uh, being uh, the captain of uh, the side. It shows that, uh, you know, um, that uh, family is very special when it comes to South Let, African football. Let's talk about that family pedigree and the pressure that must have uh, mounted on, on Papi coming from a family that, as you mentioned, uh, you know, obviously a lot of comparison must have been made between himself and his father. What kind of pressure do you believe that he was under? Without any doubt, you know, any player, you know, if, if you following the footsteps of, you know, a, 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 a football great, I mean, Acer Khomani, like I said, he was the captain of Pirates. So the pressure was there, but I must say that uh, Papi Khomani did live up to expectations. I mean, uh, he, like you said uh, in the intro, he, he played for Bafana. He's got, uh, is it nine, eight or nine caps? I remember he was part of the team that went to the Africa Cup of Nations that was co-hosted by uh, Ghana and Nigeria. Although he was not a regular in the team, in most cases he came off the bench, but he played, you know, alongside the likes of uh, Shuz Musweu, Lucas Khatebe, McFish, uh, the list is endless. So it shows that, um, you know, truly, uh, you know, we've lost as a nation, mm. we've a footballing uh, great in Papi Khomani. What attributes made him the sort of player that Orlando Pirates were actually attracted to him, were attracted to? Yeah, you know, uh, Papi, what I can say is that, you know, he was very, very modest. He was one of the quietest players I have ever met, you know, in uh, South African professional football, you know. But at the same time, you know, he was very well-spoken, laid back, I think that's what made uh, that's what uh, made Papi Khomani uh, very special, you know, in the eyes of uh, football fans, particularly Orlando Pirates. I mean, this player played for more than ten years, but I don't remember reading anything mm. negative about Papi. You know, on and off the pitch, um, he had, you know, a very a good control, and uh, I think uh, he will be sadly missed by the entire uh, footballing fraternity. Yeah, we don't see that often now. A lot of players who are on, on the news for all the wrong reason, being the front page instead of the back page. Uh, what sort of legacy, quickly, would you say he leaves behind? Yeah, Papi, I think uh, not uh, uh, long uh, uh, 
after he, you know, um, retired from uh, professional football. I think uh, we saw him at the SABC as a, a, a football analyst. And I think, like I said, you know, he was uh, very well spoken. I think uh, that's one of the attributes, you know, that uh, SABC saw. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know why he did not follow, you know, a coaching uh, after uh, retiring uh, from football, but I know he was uh, a, a very senior person at his uh, church. Uh, I, I must say that uh, may his soul rest in peace. Uh, thank you so much, Sfi. So unfortunately, that's all the time we have for you this evening. Thank you so much. That's SABC Sports reporter Sfi Ramara reflecting on the life of Papi Khomani, who sadly passed away on Saturday morning on his way to a funeral alongside his, um, uh, his uncle there.